Hey, so I have a theory as to why Hex jumped so dramatically once it got out of that uh, tight range. And I think pumps and Hex in the future could also, in the current environment uh, regarding Uniswap V3, that when things get out of a band they're in, they, they go wild because most of the liquidity is concentrated in the band and as long as it stays in that band, the liquidity providers are making a lot of fees because they concentrate the liquidity. But once it goes out of the band where most of the liquidity is concentrated, there's just not much out there. So it flies up. So that's my little theory. I haven't looked on chain. I haven't been paying too much attention on Twitter on this, but it just makes sense to me that with V3 and with people concentrating, uh, it's it's hard to get out of the range, but then once it does, it can really go. So maybe the liquidity providers that were just doing the old like V2 style maybe are making most of the fees and that now that's out of the range, or maybe liquidity providers have adjusted and moved their ranges up. But sometimes to do that, they have to sell or buy to have the tokens since if it goes out of the range, they might be all in the other one. So that may have contributed to the liquidity. Obviously, if you are a liquidity provider, there are different strategies that I think probably, you know, it's can't really predict what's going to happen, but keeping it in a, in a reasonable range, probably not too tight a range, but a reasonable range, um, there's probably going to be a sweet spot there. Again, I'm not doing this, but it's just something I'm guessing is happening. So not that that's a bad or a good thing necessarily. I kind of like wild pumps. I like the... Uh, um, not velocity, but you know what I mean? The uh, volatility. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jish. All right. Well, I'll tell you what I've been up to this morning. Nothing. It's awesome. But I oh, I, I, I pledged to a Wild SJ's Patreon. Uh, I didn't know she had a Patreon. I was watching her ASMR thing. <laughs> I watched most of her ASMR reading of sci Vive. That was pretty cool, but again... You know, I'm not that I'm like a huge ASMR fan, but it's cool now and then. So I, I I thought that was fun. Why not? You know, like she she actually is a hex community builder, unlike myself, where I'm kind of like do too much shit talking. So <laughs> anyway, thanks SJ and um, hex community for being cool. You haven't you haven't um, the hex community has not totally um, banished me or whatever you want to say. So. No, no, no shade, no shade, but I, I get it. Like I openly say I'm a racist and shit nowadays. So it's, it's whatever. I'm a racist and the only race I like is hexagons. different world out there with Uniswap V3. I don't know. Of course, Pulse X is not going to be Uniswap V3. And the, although Uniswap's um, license on that, it was only good for two years. So I think it might be expiring later this year. If my memory serves me correctly. All right, y'all. One last uh, unsponsored. Where is Where's the, where's that little spray bottle? Here, little spray bottle. Hmm. Back here. Hmm. Previous has... item. Oh, Button. Shit. Double tap to activate. Oh. Hey Google, what's playing? You're listening to mine by Weaver Beats. <laughs>